Hello. Can you hear me? Let me just check, I got my sound working. I'm back on OBS. Um, as you can probably tell, so I'm trying out some new funky stuff. Hello. I think you can hear me. Can you hear and I think I'm looking okay. Well, obviously, apart from my ugly face, but in terms of the video quality, I think we're good. Hello, anyway, let's do some hello. So yeah, that I tried a new thing out there. I started the stream a little bit early just so there was time for notifications to get out, but um, let me know what you think about that. And also the funky music. <laughs> But anyway, hello everybody. Hope you're all well. It's a lovely warm evening here in England. And England are doing quite well in the World Cup at the moment as well. Big game tomorrow. So hello, Bobby. Hello, Pastor Duke. Good to see you on again. Hello, Brandon. Uh, I'll come to some questions in a minute, Brandon. But yeah, I can help you with your image display problem. I randomly stop displaying my WooZone products. Well, I'll answer it now, why not? It's probably down to the version. Are you running the latest version of WooZone and whatever theme you're running? That problem is usually fixed with a version upgrade. Pretty straightforward. So yeah, I'm back on this camera, back on OBS. In fact, let me just move it. There's a little bit too much wall. Uh, that bit better. Probably about there is good. I think we just screen save of this. It was a bit bright. So yeah, hello everybody. Hello Sean. Hello Simon. Hello Monica. Hello stupid robot fighting league. I had a shave earlier. I thought of you actually when I was shaving. I thought maybe I should just leave it for the stream. I know that you appreciate a beard, but too late. I was halfway through shaving. <laughs> hello mid MD mid fires. Hello Scott. But anyway, what I want to talk to you about today, tonight, this morning, whatever time zone you're in, is R7 Eagle, hello, good to see you. You like this camera best? Am I a bit, that's a bit bright. Let me just put that down a little. Yeah, back on this camera rather than the uh, that camera. I think it's better. It's more in line with the rest of my videos, isn't it? I'm still a bit bright. Is that better? We'll have to just play with these video settings. What's the size of that? That is a 28, is it 28? I don't know, it's an iMac Pro, whatever size that comes in. Hello, Arsene, we're good to see you. We need to catch up on Skype, so we still haven't arranged that. I'm gonna be less busy over the next few days, possibly, although I've got some tax stuff to do, which is a bit annoying. Um, am I too dark now? <laughs> Thanks, I'm glad you like the shirt. I'm working on the WP Eagle shirts. Um, maybe I could come up with something like this, WP Eagle WordPress University. Something like that, that would be cool, huh? We could we could come up with something like that. Um, but yeah, other than that, yeah, I wanted to talk to you tonight about my new video, I uploaded it today. Man, it's taken a long time to put together. You know I've been talking about it for quite some time. It's the 2018 version of the WooZone Kingdom you know, site featuring Bow Wow Tech, which is the website that we looked at um, last week on the stream. So yeah, the video's up. It's had some quite good uh, responses so far. I mean, it's only, it's only been up a few hours. Obviously one uh, dislike already to be expected. <laughs> but yeah. Do um, do check it out. It's quite long. It's, it's about two hours forty minutes long. Um, I mean, if you've already got a a own site, then it you know it might be a bit boring to watch. But you might want to skip through to various bits. You can skip through by looking at the description. I put all the timings below the video, so you can jump through to whatever sections you like. It features WooZone ten, so it includes the Chrome browser extension, and it also includes lots of articles, which is something I haven't done before on the videos. Um, where I kind of started the site with content first by adding a blog and 10 articles and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, do check it out. Um, yeah, let me know what you think. But anyway, tonight I'm here to answer your questions. So ask me anything about WooZone, WooCommerce, WordPress, business, oh, sorry, microphone, business, life, football, whatever you like. Hi Charles, good to have you on. 
I'm just gonna quickly uh, put out on Facebook that we're live. Um, I have considered possibly going live on Facebook, see what happens. Um, but um, yeah. I'm not quite sure how I'm gonna simultaneously uh, broadcast live. <laughs> But I'll figure it out, that's my next challenge. So Scott says, how do you do a bit on you, or can you do a bit on using Yoast SEO and maximizing a page's SEO for a green light? Yeah, sure, why not, let's do that now. <clears throat> what I'll do is I'll jump on the computer and we'll take a look at something. Uh, let me see if I can figure it out. Uh, I think that's that's working. Do you see my computer screen? So we can have a look at at the new site, eh? Why not? So there's two sorts of SEO that you can do. The first, don't worry, it's a little bit squashed because of the, the window size that I'm running on. So that's why the menu's on two lines. It's not normally, um, but I'm running a really, a really small uh, window. Yeah, two bits of optimization. The main thing you want to focus on is the uh, your blog content, although you can optimize um, your products. However, generally Yoast will optimize them to a certain degree without you having to do anything. If you set a nice template where it takes the product name, you don't need to optimize. But yes, so let's take a look at this uh, blog post here. So the first thing you'd want to do is identify which keyword um, you want to go for. Do check out the playlist on the channel which I put together with Doug all around keyword research. But you know, if I do a search on Google for nighttime dog walking, let's just see what we get. We get 10 a month on that. <laughs> which is, I guess that's that's fine, we could go for that. Um, that's a nice headline, is it? I love these kind of clickbait sort of headlines. It's another thing to consider when you're writing an article. You see that? If you ever walk your dog at night, you need, in capitals, to read this, and that one caught my eye straight away. That's the one I wanna click on. I skipped over um, the first and second results, and that, um, that drew me in. Seven tips for walking your dog at night. So these are all kind of articles that I could possibly uh, compete with with my site. So yeah, okay, so we're gonna go for this keyword, nighttime dog walking. I think I may have already optimized this post in the tutorial video that was uploaded today. But we can have another look, it's fine. Kevin, thank you very much for that uh, super chat donation. Really appreciate it. I'll come to your question in just a moment. So you come down in Yoast, as you probably already know, you find the Yoast panel, which is way down here. You set your focus keyword, which is nighttime dog walking. And you then just wanna work through these um, suggestions. So, you know, I've done most things, but you know, make sure that the keyword appears in the first paragraph of the copy, which it didn't actually to start with. Again, that is in the video. So what I did, the first paragraph was originally this, and then to add the keyword, I just added this extra sentence. Here's our guide and everything you need to know about nighttime dog walking. There's the keyword. So it's just a case of really working through um, the suggestions that come up in the analysis. Now don't get too obsessed with this. I mean, you can spend hours and hours trying to get you know, all of these green. If your overall score is green, then it's probably okay. So it says my meta description is over 156 characters. This is the meta description. And yeah, maybe it's over. So I could just get rid of this, find out. I guess Google doesn't like it when it's too long. There we go. So that's one thing fixed. I did like that headline that I just saw. I'm wondering if I should adjust. Oh, I've got that everything you need kind of. It's not quite as catchy as that other one that came up with Google. I'm gonna have to think about writing really you know, clickable clickbaity sort of headlines that people just can't resist. Um, the slug for this page contains a stop word. 
uh, which would be you, I guess. Is a stop word, is it? Stop words are generally those kind of connecting words like you and a and if and of. Let's have a look, did that fix it? Yeah. The images on this page are missing alt attributes. So you, you know, get an image, click edit, and add some alt, you know, like night time dog walking harness. Trying to include the keyword there, but also include what the image is actually about. So yeah, you'd go through and you know you add these um, alt tags. Oh, night time dog walking glow collar. Is that what it is? I think it is. <laughs> Something like that. So yeah, you know, add some alt tags. So yeah, it's basically just a case of working through all of this stuff and trying to get it as green as you possibly can. Other than that, I don't think there's much more I can show you. Let me just update. In terms of a product, let me just show you a product quickly. So for a product, you come into products, or you could go to the front of the website and then just click edit product when you find the one you want. Let's have a look at this, whatever this is. So we've got this Chuck It Zip Flight Max Glow Fetch toy. Again, I'd probably just pop it into Google, just see what we get. See that, I mean it's fine, but it's, it's not coming up with any keywords in terms of keywords anywhere. Let me just see if that makes any difference. Chuck it zip flight has got 10 a month. So you might just wanna kind of adjust these things. Uh, get rid of that exclamation mark, that's not gonna help. You could even add it in here. Oh, and of course, actually, I need to just set it in the uh, in Yoast if it will let me. There we go. So we got red. So yeah, it needs to needs a. So you'd go through. You'd set a meta description, add some more text, and again, just follow everything that you need to uh, need to do that it you know advises down here. Now, of course, if you've got loads of products on your site, that's going to take some time. Um, so I would just focus on your highest value products or the products that you think are gonna be most popular or the products that you like the most. I wouldn't try and do every single product. Because I said a lot of products will rank anyway because Yoast will automatically kind of optimize them. But as you can see, there are you know some things in here that you can do. Just one thing I will say, um, if you are gonna edit any product stuff, you must make sure that you go into your Woo zone and you turn off certain parts of the synchronization settings. Otherwise, what will happen is you'll make some changes to um, your products and then overnight, Woo zone will do some synchronization stuff and you'll lose all your changes. I think it's actually in synchronization log. Yeah, here it is. So for some reason actually I've noticed in here that the price is not synced. You really need price to be syncing up, otherwise Google don't like it. But generally everything else you might wanna leave the same, especially as say, if you're, you're changing things like the description, the title, the description, short description, that kind of thing. I'm gonna take new variations, that's quite a good thing. It's interesting that price wasn't ticked. I think you should all go and check that on your site now because that is quite important. But anyway, let's get back to your questions. Here we go. Yes, yeah, so thank you very much to Kevin. 
Do I need WooCommerce to do drop shipping? If you're gonna do it with WordPress, I would recommend it. Oh, I thought there was a fly in my tea then. It's not, it's a bubble. If you're gonna use WordPress, I'd recommend it because it gives you like the full sh um, shopping functionality that you need. Of course, if you're not gonna use WordPress, you can use something like Shopify. I think there are some other plugins out there that would kind of do it for you, but I think where uh, WooCommerce is a great platform to use because I say it's it's, it's an e-commerce platform, so it's got all the features and stuff that you need for dropshipping. And then combine it with like the Ali dropship plugin or similar and you're fine. WooCommerce is a free plugin, so it shouldn't really be a, a, anything to worry about. And thanks for that donation, that 199, that'll get me a pint of something up the Weatherspoons, maybe. Pastor Duke says that he notices with KGR keywords that many times there are no ads or featured snippets. So it helps you get more traffic without all the stuff Google puts on to uh, keep people on their site or going to advertisers. That's very true. And I know that you've had some great success with the KGR, haven't you? So thanks for sharing. Hello, best pet supplies. Glad that you saw us on Facebook. Again, the stream is quite quiet tonight. I've got 23 watching right now. It was really busy last week, um, up to like 60 odd. I don't know what, it's, it's the title. I'm sure it's all down to the title, uh, which gets you in. And also obviously this weather brilliant now, everyone's sitting in their garden enjoying themselves. Should we robot fighting league? Thanks again, thanks for that donation. I will grow a beard for your free New Zealand dollars. Thank you very much. Pastor Duke says, for long tail keywords, do not use the yo suggested percentage in the article. You probably don't need it uh, that high in terms of the number of times that you put the keyword in. For longer tail stuff, you can probably get away with it uh, less dense. How do you get the people also search for box on Google? That is the keywords everywhere Chrome extension. Just do a search for it and you'll find it. Just install it into Chrome and then it'll add that to your Google. Simon says, how is the traffic coming along? Sorry, Scott, I've just missed your question. I'll come to you next. Simon says, how is the traffic coming along for Bowertech? Have you received many visits? I've not looked. However, it is already indexed by Google. If you do a search on Google for Bow wow Tech, it comes up. That's a good sign. So I'm just going to have a look at analytics now. I'm just firing it up. Now, my traffic is slightly skewed because a lot of people come from YouTube looking at the site because they want to build one similar, not because they want to um, buy any dog stuff or anything. Yeah, traffic is not bad. Um, we've had 33 today, but I say a lot of that could be from YouTube. Let's have a look at yesterday because that was before the video went up. Only six. It's early days. It is only, it's been up like a week. It hasn't been properly launched actually for, mm, well maybe for three or four days, something like that. So it's very early days. Scott says, once you change meta descriptions, how long does it you take for Google to update these? Is adjusting your post title after Google indexing a bad idea? Google will usually update stuff really quick nowadays, so it could be a day or two, maybe a little bit longer. It depends how many links you've got on your site. Popular sites, it will update you know, almost immediately. Um, is adjusting your post title after Google indexing a bad idea? No, if you've got a better pay, uh, post title or page title, just change it, it's fine. Google will, will obviously change its uh, record of you. Um, and that will possibly affect your search engine rankings, but maybe in a positive way. So I wouldn't worry about that. About that. You can always change uh, page titles, post titles. Hello, Helen. Don't worry about being late. You're only a little bit late. 
It doesn't matter. People come and go as they like. Hi, Anthony, good to have you on. Scott says, how can I put product images into WooCommerce from Amazon without copying the images or using the API? Not sure if Amazon allow this. No, they don't. You'd have to use the API to do that and that's what WooZone does for you. So good questions, keep them coming in. Good cup of Yorkshire tea that. <laughs> right, let me just scroll back through, have I missed any of your questions? If the stream is quiet tonight and we don't have too many questions, I won't keep you all here for an hour. You know, we can we can wrap up whenever. I, you know, there's a lot on. There's World Cup. There's nice weather. Well, there is here. <laughs> anyway, in the UK, it's really warm. So um, yeah, I understand. People don't want to watch me on a nice Wednesday night when there's football on telly and, and nice weather. And says, how do you resolve the massive images that WooZone puts in your gallery? It mixes all the product images with your content images. I don't think there's anything you can do about that. WooZone puts them in your gallery, that's what it does. And yeah, it does mix them up with your content, which is a bit of a pain, but I don't think there's anything to be done about it. Scott says, what if you don't have an API yet? How do you access the images? If you're using WooCommerce, you can use, with WooZone, you can use the Chrome browser extension, which I've done a couple of videos on. It's also featured in the latest video that I uploaded today, but there is a, a more specific video, which I will just paste in the chat to make it easier for you to find. But yeah, with this browser extension, you can um, import products without the API. And I so said, let me just find you. I, uh, um, a link, I've got it here, it was only, I only uploaded it. Here we go. When did I upload it? Back in May, not long ago, about a month ago. There we go. Enjoy. Helen says she's gonna watch the video at the weekend. It is very long. And uh, well, let me know what you think. I hope you like it. It's taken me quite a while. I've tried to edit it better. And one thing I did do this time, which I haven't done on previous videos, which you're probably gonna say, what? Is um, I actually watched it all the way back through. Um, yeah, those first videos that I did, which have done really well for me, and you know, a lot of you guys have watched them. Some of them, I think one of them's got like 170,000 views, which is really good, which is probably the best video I've got on the channel. I kind of created the video and and did all the editing, and then when I got to the end and I saw that it was like two hours odd long, I was like, oh, I can't face watching it all. And I just published it, and there was like a couple of problems with the sound and stuff. So this time, I'd edit a section, and that's another new thing. I've broken the video down into sections or steps, I think I call them. So it's slightly easier to navigate and you can do it in sort of chunks. But yeah, when I finished a, a section or a step, I'd, I'd actually would watch it back. So, and, and do a little bit more editing and tweak it a bit more. So it's hopefully of a slightly higher quality to my previous videos, but who knows? It took a long time to make, I will say that, but I've already started planning my next video, another long one. I'm gonna kind of focus a bit more on the longer videos. I wanna put them out more frequently. So the next one would just be around building a WordPress website, I think, just your standard website that you could use for anything. And then I'm gonna do some more affiliate stuff. I'm gonna do another affiliate blog one, I think. Uh, and let me just have a look at my ideas. I've got them all here. Uh, I wanna do the, the hosting video, which is gonna be a big one as well, where I'm gonna compare loads and loads of different hosts. Um, probably another affiliate product comparison type site. And also I wanna do a whole load more follow up videos around today's uh, upload. So yeah, trying to get some money and uh, get some traffic or trying to make some money I should say on the new site.
Now I've lost the chat, hang on a second, bear with me. I clicked the wrong thing there. <laughs> Okay, um, Pastor says, is there any reason you build your sites for Kingdom versus Rehub? The only reason I use Kingdom is because it's written by the same guys that made WooZone and the site is powered by WooZone and it's, it kind of integrates well, although it used to anyway, that used to be my rule of, of doing that. But I think now I look at it and I think that any WooCommerce theme would probably be fine. I do have another video on Rehub, in fact. Uh, which is how to make a price comparison affiliate marketing site where I've used Rehub, but yeah. And I think Rehub would probably be um, a little bit too much um, when it comes to kind of creating these sites. It's got a lot of features and it's quite complicated. Scott says, is WooZone a one-off payment per site for life? It is. However, um, you get six months support with the license and then if you want more support from AA team, um, then yeah, you need to pay for another license or, or extend the support. I think it's actually a little bit cheaper than, than a license. However, I will say that I do have a direct line to the AA team developers. So if you were to ask me a question about it, or if you you know found a bug, something like that, I could pass it on for you, get you a little bit of support that way. Don't tell anyone. <laughs> and yeah, as you say, you do need a license for each website that you create. Uh, MD says, I want to share something about the Amazon API keys problem for newbies. Go ahead and share. What, what have you got to share with us? I'm intrigued. While I'm waiting for questions, I'm just going to go for a couple of comments as well that are coming in. Uh, on my new video, so Mama Needs Her Wine. That is a great name. I think she's been on before because I remember that name. Um, or maybe on Doug's, I can't remember. She says, do, uh, do you know if WooZone will work with a page builder site? I use Solo Build It. I think it will. WooZone will work with any e-commerce or WooCommerce team, I should say. And if that WooCommerce team has a page builder, then it will, will work with it. Kingdom has a page builder. It uses WP Bakery uh, page builder. Um, got another comment on the new video saying it's very easy to create a website but to drive traffic is another story after one month my site has visited has zero visited people so getting traffic as we know is you know half the battle but there's tons of great tips on my channel on Doug's channel on YouTube as a whole you've got SEO you've got social media you've got link building through guest posts or forums or uh, Mainly guest posts is probably the best way. Uh, you've got paid traffic. Um, there's a ton of ways of getting getting traffic. So um, I'd be interested to hear how you get traffic to your um, affiliate sites. I'd imagine most of it comes from SEO. And also be interested in how quickly it took uh, or how long it took to get some traffic and get some earnings because you know this comment, after one month my site isn't working, it's probably not long enough, in my opinion. I think it takes a few months at least to get the sites up and running. Hello, Andrew, you're a bit late, but you finally caught me live. That's great. You haven't missed a great deal. I mean, just been gibbering on. Of course, you can always rewind at the end of this stream and watch what you've missed. Hello, Roll Film Productions. So here we go, MD sharing his tip. When I was going through the problem as a newbie, then I figured out that Amazon does have some differences on their policies for their different country associates program. And that got me to find my solution. Helen says, <laughs> he hasn't shared the whole thing yet. I'll come back to that in a minute. Helen says, huh? our REA support. Basically what I was saying is that you have six months support with AA team once you buy WooZone. And then if you want more support after that six months, you have to buy it. However, I have got quite a close relationship with the developers there. So if you wanted to send me a question about WooZone, then I might be able to kind of pass it on and see what I can do. They tend to answer all the questions that I ask them. So just saying like a special privilege to WP Eagle viewers. Okay. 
So MD, what was your solution? Please tell me, what was the problem? I, it sounds good, this bit of advice, but I'm not quite sure what you're trying to say. Anthony says, have you ever mentioned about building traffic through Pinterest? I have briefly, I haven't really gone into too much um, detail on it, and I haven't done it for a while actually, so it might have changed, but what I used to do with Pinterest, and I did it with Boot Boutique. I think if you go over to Pinterest and look up Boot Boutique, let me just do it now. And I can't find it now. But yeah, what I did for Boot Boutique, I think it was Boot Boutique, maybe it was another site. Um, I know, there it is, I found it. Is I created loads of boards around boots. And I also um, followed loads of um, people and other pinners that were into um, boots. I haven't done anything <laughs> for three years, it says. So yeah, I started, I've got, only got 67 followers on there, but yeah, I started following those of boot people and they followed back and, and went from there. I found it was quite a good way of getting traffic and at least building some links, but yeah, it's not something I've really done too much on really Pinterest, so I don't wanna to say too much in case it's all wrong. Ah, here we go, so here's MD's tip. So, with regards to getting the API, so the recent change has meant that you can't get the API key uh, that you need to import products until you've had free sales and you're fully approved and all that kind of stuff. So he's found out that it's different actually depending on the country you're promoting. So for example, in France, you get access to the API instantly. So I guess that's the trick. So what he's done is he created a, an Amazon Associates account in in France, which I don't know if you need to speak French to do that, but <laughs> maybe not. Um, got access to his API keys and then used one link to connect everything together. However, I think if you get the API keys, you should be fine to then import from any um, Amazon. Well, I haven't tested that, but that's just off my head. So you could sign up as an Amazon associate in France, get the API keys, um, but the thing is you'd need, you would need, need a sale in France in order to keep it going because after three months or whatever, they'd probably shut you down. I know, but it could be a workaround, at least for the first few months. And it says, do I still use Buffer? Yes, I do, it's the paid version just because of the amount of uh, social media profiles that I need to post to. Yeah, MD just clarified it would work for six months because if you don't drive sales to Amazon France, then they will turn down that account. Yeah, that's fair enough. Ian says, uh, oh hang on, let me, I've missed a few. Simon says, a few months ago, I built an affiliate site from watching one of your videos. I want to start from scratch, delete everything, but use the same domain name. Will this impact my current Google ranking? Yeah, if you delete everything off, you'll lose all your rankings. And I'm not saying you have to start again, because if you've done any link building, they'll still be there, but I wanna be really careful doing that. What's the reason you wanna start from scratch? Let me know. Helen says six months is normal. I think she's talking about how long it takes for a site to kind of get up and running and, and start working. Chris Wildfire says, do you have any suggestions on the best social plugins? Are they necessary? They're not necessary, but they're nice to have. I've got a couple of videos on the channel around adding social sharing buttons. The one I like is called, I think it's just called social sharing buttons or something like that. Um, yeah, I like that. And it, there's also another one that I quite like by, um, who's it by? Let me have a look. Nope, forget that. Just go for social sharing, but let me just find the video. It might be a little bit out of date now, but uh, I think it'd probably still be relevant.
Uh, okay, yeah. Here's the video. I need to do another one of them because the video is like for four years old. Wow. Have I been doing YouTube that long? <laughs> so I should probably go back through all my old videos and, and just kind of redo them, freshen them up. So let me just check the... No, I think this video is too old. I'm not going to share it. Let me just see if I can find another one. I don't seem to have another one. Oh, uh, well. Let me just share you with you the name of the plugin anyway. It's called Easy Social Share Buttons. Here's a link. It is a premium plugin. It comes in at $20, but it is really good. Link in the description. Nope, didn't like that link. I think I can only put links to my approved sites in the chat, so let me just get one of those. There we go. Someone says a few, oh yeah, I've done that one. Ian says, I have a problem with my Amazon Associates. My .co.uk has run out and they have rejected my reapplication. Oh, no, yet my .com account is still active. How will this affect, how will that affect selling products? Well, you won't get any commission if someone buys from Amazon.co.uk, which is a bit of a pain. Any reason for that, why they've rejected you? You should be able to, you can reapply again. I mean, just change the site a bit more and try again. I think it depends on who you get on the day as well at Amazon. Whether you've got someone who just kind of waves people through or someone who's, who's a bit more of a job's worth. Nick says, hi Alex, do you still like the WP Reviews theme? Do you have a preference between that one and Rehub? I love the WP Reviews theme. Um, I think for a review site, it's absolutely perfect. It looks really nice, it's easy to use. You could do the same with Rehub, but as I mentioned earlier, I think Rehub has got a lot going on with it and can be overwhelming. It can do so many things. It's a bit of a jack of all trades rather than a master of one. So I like both themes, but if I was just gonna do a review site, I'd probably go for WP Reviews again. Roll Film says, is it better to do Facebook ads marketing by using email extractors? I'm not quite sure what you mean by that. If you clarify, I'll, I will answer again. Anthony says, I guess you're talking around, Anthony's talking about Buffer. Do you suggest using the paid version for newly created sites or just start with a free version? I'll just start with the free version. You can do most stuff with a free version. Then if you get stuck or you can't do something because it's asking you to upgrade, then you upgrade then. Uh, Best Pets Wine says, how is your sneaker store doing? I don't know. I don't think it's doing that much. It needs a whole load more content. I haven't added enough products and all that kind of stuff, so. Let me just have a look if I can see the traffic figures. Yeah, it's getting a nice trickle of traffic, but I, I need to go through and check all the different affiliate. It's hooked up with so many different affiliate programs. I've not noticed any commission, let's just say that. Scott Hafford says, in new boots, but not when typing new boots with a space. Do I change that to include a space? Uh, maybe, yeah, if that's what you want to rank for. And he says, would you ever share your earnings from YouTube? I think I probably have in the past. I've never been specific. 
Uh, it's enough for me to live off comfortably. It's enough, you know, it's four figures. <laughs> Sometimes five figures, depends on the month. That gives you an idea. Best pet supplies, there's, can you show your review site with the shoes? Yeah, I can do, what do you want to see? We can have a look at it. Let me know if there's something specific you wanna look at and I'll fire up. Ken says, my one year old website has 10 articles with very low traffic. If I should follow the KGR strategy, will I be able to improve on the website? We'll have to start a new website with KGR articles. No, no you should be fine what you got, just start adding more articles, more content. Follow um, the advice all around KGR and you should start getting some traffic providing you can you know, identify some good keywords and create some good content. Simon, Simon says, uh, created the site, was simply playing around to be honest, so it's messy. Okay, that's why you want us to do a fresh install. Okay, want to install a better theme, remove the many plugins. Refresh the products and start writing post for Okay, yeah, pretty better start again then. Oh, Ian, maybe drop me an email on your on your rejection problem with Amazon. I'll have a look at your site, see if I can see anything obvious. Best pet supply stores. Can you bring products and integrate them into posts with WooZone? You can. There is kind of an insert product thing. I don't like it. I don't think it looks particularly great, but you can do it that way. The way I integrate products into the post is I um, just link to them, link to the products that are on your site, and also use the site stripe in some occasions. I think you're within your rights to use the site stripe and actually link through to products on your site. So you'd pull the image in using the site stripe. So that's all kind of compliant with the terms of service and all that stuff. And then you can manually add a link through to the products on your site. Helen says, I was rejected by Amazon.com first uh, on the first application. I responded to their email and asked why they rejected it. They were very good and explained. I revamped it and was accepted on the second application. There you go. Monica says, do you all, or do you own copy photo? Do you own all, you let me try and read this. <laughs> Do you own, I think you're trying to say, do you own all your copy, photos and content, or do you have, have you done sourcing like five or other sources? Okay, so with the content, I have outsourced to a writer most of the time, and I've got a writer that is from upwork.com, so go over to Upwork, and then you should be able to find a writer. The last video in the KGR playlist, which you can find on the channel, the one I did with Doug Cunnington, in the last video, which is one of Doug's videos, he talks about how to add like 200 articles to an Amazon affiliate site and he talks about writers and, and that kind of stuff. So watch that, you can learn about how to find a good writer and how much you should be paying, that kind of stuff. When it comes to photos, I either use the photos from Amazon using the API or using the site stripe, or I go to a site like iStock Photo. I've got a subscription with them, it allows me to download a certain amount of images every month, I can't remember exactly how, maybe 30. And I, They've got like, all the images on dog, uh, dog tech on bow wow tech dog tech that was going to be the original name on bow wow tech they're all from my stock they're really good quality photos and at least you know that when you purchase them you can use them for whatever you like and you're not going to get in any trouble with getty images or something like that ian says he was already accepted but because the site wasn't built or or published as it was my first project, it ran out, and now I'm still with .com, but they emailed me and said they will not reconsider. I've never heard them saying they're not gonna reconsider, that's weird. I'll try and ask for a reason on that. And he says, once you're approved by um, Amazon Associates and you create another site, do they monitor all your all the new sites you create? Um, and can you be kicked out for not having enough new content? Okay, in my experience, the answer is no and no. <laughs> I am always adding new sites, as you know, because I create videos around them and I've never told Amazon about these new sites, which I probably should. You should probably add it to the list of sites within your associates platform, but I never have. And 
some of my sites I haven't, I haven't updated for quite some time and again they've not said anything so i don't think i don't think so so no and no to to that one if they uh, but as i say i'm not 100 percent sure that's a, you know a, what they want you to do i think they probably want you to you know let them know whenever you set up a new site Best pet supplies, I mean, do you use the re-theme and WZone together? No, I don't. I think that the re-theme, is that the AA theme one? No, I've not used those two together. Okay, rehub, no, you did mean rehub. No, I've not used rehub and, and WooZone together. Ian says, when using uh, the KGR, does it have to be articles with lots of content to make it work? Yeah, it does ideally. Like uh, 1,500 words, something like that. Or can you just drop the keyword sentences in to say about us or what we do? No, but you could use, uh, you could put some keywords into um, into those pages, that's fine. But you know, they don't often rank those sort of pages, the about us, that, that kind of thing, unless someone's specifically looking for information about you and your company. It's generally going to be the article pages that do rank and uh, that get you the traffic. <laughs> Whisper Hub says, "Hi, how's it going? It's going well. Thanks for joining us this evening. It's a quiet stream. We're up to thirty-five peak tonight, which is it's half, pretty much half as many as we had last week." That's funny, Monica. Monica says, free Guinness down and the fingers aren't working. That can happen. It's a nice evening for a cold Guinness. Okay, I'm going to run for another 10 minutes or so, depending on how the questions go. So do keep them coming in. Whisperhub says, I'm having a strange problem. With pics looking blurry in WooCommerce, even though they look great otherwise. I'm using X theme. Any ideas? Um, first thing is make sure you're running the latest version of WooZone and all that stuff. Generally, an image problem is because you're running an old version of WooZone and then there's a bug or something's changed. So check that. If not, I don't know what that could be. Um, if updating doesn't fix it, then do send me an email with your site details and a login to eagle at wpeagle.com and I'll have a look and see if we can figure it out. Anthony says, do you outsource your video editing or do you do it yourself? I do it myself. Uh, I could probably outsource it. Doug outsources all his now. Have you noticed that his editing has got really good? And that's because someone else, someone in Ukraine I believe is doing it for him. Um, I don't know if I could outsource it, you know, especially on my long videos, I, I'm very particular how I want it done. So yeah, I don't know. Maybe I should consider it. I should probably consider outsourcing a lot of things, to be fair. And, and you know, just, which is the kind of rule of business, you should focus on the stuff that you're good at and everything else you should get someone else to do. Which is easier said than done. So what else we got? Hi, Steve Wig, good to have you on. Yeah, you can catch up later. There was a little bit of an intro at the beginning of this stream. I had some little music playing and it coming soon, so you're gonna have to skip through that. I think it was only on for about 10, 15 minutes. A new thing I'll try. It didn't help me get any more views. If we've only got 35 on right now, so I won't be doing that again. Maybe just a minute's worth of intro just while I <clears throat> warm my throat up and all that. And he says, are you familiar with Amazon's Vine program? I'm not. Has any company that sells on Amazon asked you to review for a free product? No, they haven't. Hi, David. I am well, thank you. Scott Halford says, what do you use for site security? Or not bother. I use a company called Security and I use their monitoring plugin, but there's also a plugin called WordFence, which is really good for security. And you should definitely bother about security. If you don't, your site will get hacked. That's pretty much guaranteed. 
I mean, the basic stuff you can do to keep yourself secure is keep WordPress updated and use a, a strong password. That's the, the basics, but there are extra layers you can add with plugins. There is a video on the channel. It might be a little bit older now, but it's all around security tips. Have a look. Do a search on YouTube. WordPress security tips, WP Eagle. Helen says she uses all in one security for her security. So there's another tip there. And he says, what comparison plugin would you recommend that's not part of a theme or included as a bundled item? I couldn't possibly recommend one. I've not used one. I've only used the rehub theme, which you know has all that stuff um, stuff built into it. If you want to do a comparison chart that it's easy to manage, um, <clears throat> there's a video on the channel. Let me find it, which I think uses a plugin. Um, Yeah. Um Yeah, I've got a video. I used a I think I used a free plugin which is fine for tables, but you'd have to let me know how you get on. I'll paste the link now. I haven't checked out Uber suggest yet. Oh, Neil Patel, I remember now. Okay, so I'm gonna wrap up the video I think now. Well, at least the next few minutes. One other thing I wanted to ask you guys actually, have you been on You Can Do at all? Um, I don't know if you guys are aware, or I think you probably are because I've been talking about it quite a bit, is the Online Training Academy that I co-founded with some other guys is up and running. And I'm just gonna put a link now in the chat. Do go and check it out, do join up, it's free to join up, it's full of great content. I've just recently added a brand new introduction video which you'll find on the dashboard when you log in, it's it's me talking for about half an hour about all the great stuff that you can do and you can do so. I'd love to know what you think. Uh, there's some discussion going on in the forums and the good thing is is that um, the guys that I work with are a lot more responsive than me when it comes to answering stuff on forums. So get on there, get involved, get in the discussion. Hugo says, how can you avoid long descriptions when you import products from Amazon? I'm not sure you can. I think what you'd have to do is um, basically go in and change it yourself. <laughs> import the description and then if you want to rewrite it, cut it down, edit the product and do that. Helen says, I've been on it and registered, but not heard from So, what well, you didn't get your registration email. Been hearing this quite a lot. Can you try again? Try and register again. Maybe check your junk folder as well. If you're still having problems, can you drop me an email personally to eagle at wpeagle.com and I'll get that looked at. Hello, crazy dude. Good to have you on. Okay, David says, I joined, but didn't receive any notifications when new courses are added. Hey Larry, good to have you on. Sanjivan says, what about copy content from Amazon? 
you can do that, but you don't want to copy it exactly. Good thing about WooZone is that it will spin the content for you so that it is slightly unique and ideally you'd rewrite it to make it even more unique. Thanks for support and the kind words, stupid robot fighting league. Yeah, do check out you can do. Love your feedback. Jason says he signed up to you can do and spoken to Duncan in the form. That's great. And she said, have you used AA Team's new variation product image plugin? I haven't. Let me add that to my things I've got to check out. You could have you on Larry, how's the YouTube channel going? Um, I'd love to have you on actually if you wanna come in on a, a live stream. So can you email me at eagle at wpeagle.com and we can arrange a time. Uh, Estron says, I made it, how long do you have until we go? About five minutes. So if you've got a question, get it in now, Let's let's do it. I'm happy to uh, you know run for anything live on the computer. Computer, computer, computer. <laughs> I don't know why I had a slight American accent then. Yeah, I'm gonna go for five more minutes to so get your questions in and I'll rattle through them as quickly as I possibly can. And just to uh, to say again, for those of you that are um, new on the stream this evening, you've only just joined us, brand new video up on the channel today. It's the latest WooZone um, full length tutorial. It's like two hours 40 long. It covers WooZone version 10 and the latest version of WooCommerce and the latest version of Kingdom. It's the um, the video where I create bowwowtech.co.uk, which is a dog affiliate site, quite a specific dog niche. It's around dogs and technology. Uh, go and check it out, you don't have to watch the whole thing, but you'll find uh, that you can jump to various sections by looking at the description below, that all the timings are in there. Take a look, let me know what you think. Leave a comment, leave a like, that would really help me out. Um, yeah, I do really appreciate it when you guys reply to others' comments on the videos, it really does help. If someone's saying, oh, it doesn't work, or my site's not getting any traffic, and if you guys have had a good experience, and you add a comment, I do really appreciate that. I'm also adding closed captions to most of the longer videos, so if I'm rambling or not speaking as clearly as I should be, then um, then hopefully, yeah, you can just read it instead. Larry says that his channel is growing nice. He just got monetization. Well done. Yeah, when I started, any they gave any anyone monetization. Actually, you could just you didn't have to have a thousand subs. Just past nineteen hundred subs. Well done. The first like thousand subs are the hardest, in my opinion, in my experience. So then it, it gets a bit easier. I just hit a milestone as well. I think it was twenty twenty four thousand subs for me, which. Very pleased, we've never thought I'd get that high, never thought I would. My kind of next target is I, I want the 100,000 subs because I want the little plaque that YouTube send you. <laughs> I'll know that I've made it on YouTube then when I get that plaque, so. If you're not already subscribed, subscribe. Can you sing us a song before you go? Says you were, um, I am terribly tone deaf. So no. Simon says, what do you find converts better? Direct Amazon links from your site or WooZone, which places products in Shopping Cart for daily visit through to Amazon. Okay, so direct Amazon links probably will convert better. But 
the problem you can have is if you're writing a really long article and it's got tables and stuff and you're linking off to products to Amazon, for example, and yeah, you've got a, a article and it's got like 20 or 30 links in it, different products, that kind of stuff, and all those uh, links are links to Amazon and they're all affiliate links, that could have a negative effect on your SEO because Google is funny about affiliate sites and it's particularly funny about articles that have got too many affiliate links in it. So by linking to products on your site, you can get around that because they're just internal links and Google likes internal links. It finds them helpful and useful and, and that kind of stuff. So that's a good reason for using WooZone. Um, to kind of get a mix of the two, you can disable the shopping cart. So you could use Woozone and turn the shopping cart off and then what will happen is that add to cart button will turn to a buy now button or whatever you want it to. You can actually change that text in the Woozone settings. So that's kind of a halfway house. You've got a mix of products then but without the cart. The other advantage of having a cart is that you could, in theory, increase the basket size so people could add more than one product and then check out with more than one product so you get a higher commission then. You guys enjoying You Can Do, thank you. Anthony says, do you hand type your closed captioning? No, I outsource it. <laughs> Talk about outsourcing, that's one thing I, I don't do. I can't be bothered to closed caption like videos of two hours or, or more. So I use a company called rev.com, R-E-V.com. I find them really good. The other great thing about them is that they transcribe your video and then they automatically upload all the subtitles to to YouTube for you. That's cool. Best way to get ads that's not Google. Uh, to get ads, so what to add ads to your site? I don't know. I only ever use Google. That's a good question. Something I probably should look into. So anyway, if you enjoyed tonight's stream, could you click the like button for me below this video? That would real help, really help me out. Um, I can see I've got one dislike already. I don't know when that came in, it could have been earlier. Um, which is not bad, I normally get, get way more dislikes than that. <laughs> um, if you left that dislike, I'd love to know why. Um, what, did I, what did I do that you didn't like? Let me know so I don't do it again. <clears throat> I think my voice is going a little bit there. But yeah, if you enjoyed the video, do click the like button, that does really help me out and uh, yeah, if you're not already subscribed, please do subscribe. I'm gonna run for another three minutes. So get your last minute questions in. Larry says that he uses Rev, fantastic transcription and caption service. They are good, good for the money. So they're currently just transcribing the latest video, this uh, transcription, whatever, closed captions should be on that really soon. I can see the three of you just click like. Thank you very much. Andy says, what happens when you get a dislike, Alex? How does that affect you? Um, in terms of like YouTube and rankings and stuff like that, I don't think it has any effect really on that. In fact, it may even have a positive effect because it's an engagement and I think um, YouTube just looks at engagement, it's looking for comments and it's looking for likes and dislikes. It, does, it doesn't really matter if it's a like or a dislike. In terms of how does it affect me mentally, it makes me sad. <laughs> no. Uh, I, I just always, whenever I see them, we've spoken about this before, whenever I see the dislike, I always just think, you know, what did I get wrong? What, what, what was wrong? I want to know because I want to you know, make better videos going forward. So. I would just love it if people, when they click the dislike button, it forced them to explain why they clicked it and give me some feedback, that's all. Helen's already hit the thumbs up. Thank you very much, Helen. I know I could rely on you. So yeah, and an update, the WP Eagle t-shirts are coming. I'm gonna, uh, I think I'm, I tried to do some stuff on the regular, so I'm gonna get a graphic designer to do something. I'm gonna be inspired by this t-shirt, but I'm gonna kind of do it a little bit different and rebrand it with the with WP Eagle or something, maybe with the Eagle or something, I don't know. That's what graphic is honest for, they're gonna come up with something really cool. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, thank you, Anthony. Larry also agrees with me that, um, yeah, a thumbs down just affects the like percentage, but it doesn't actually have a, a negative effect on video ranking or performance. Which is what I thought. So there's three last questions, which I'm gonna go through and then, then we'll call it a day. Four questions, Scott's just put another one in. So Hugo says, uh, I created today my affiliate site with a free theme and WooZone Amazon plugin. Can I use it with other affiliate programs like Walmart? You can't. And the reason for that, uh, well, when I say you can't, okay. You give me an idea actually for another video. You can, but you have to make a few changes to the site. So the first thing is you'd have to turn off the on-site, on-site, oops, that's nearly a swear word. The on-site, or my Sean Connery impression, on-site. On site shopping cart, which money pet uh, <clears throat> Anyway, yeah, you'd have to turn off your on site cart um, because obviously there's going to be a problem if someone adds a Walmart pro uh, product and an Amazon product to the cart and then they go to check out, you know, which site are they going to get redirected to? It's not going to work. So if you wanted to add affiliate products from other merchants, you'd want to turn off the on site cart, which is what I was just talking about earlier. So that would mean that all the buttons turn to a buy now button. Um, and then you'd be fine. And then you could add the products from Walmart um, as a, just a WooCommerce um, external product. There's some videos on the channel on how to do that, but basically you go to new product, and then when you're choosing the product type, you've got like simple and variable products. You'll see one that says external. It might even say affiliate product. And then what you can do is you can paste your affiliate link then into the product on WooZone. You'd add your title, you'd add your description, you'd add your images, and all that kind of stuff. And um, and those products, again, would be the same as your WooZone products. They'd have a button that says buy now. So you've got an e-commerce site, but they're all buy now buttons. The on-site cart wouldn't be able to work. Um, but yeah, that's how you could do it. So, um, okay, where's those other questions? You've been talking too much. It's pushed them all up. AJ says, is iPage a bad web host? Does it affect SEO or ranking? I've never used iPage. I couldn't possibly say, but the quality of the hosting does affect your SEO ranking because speed is a major factor when it comes to ranking. So if you've got a slow site on some terrible hosting that's really slow, that will affect your rankings. Scott says, which links on my site should I add follow links to as opposed to no follow links, e.g. in product links? I won't worry about adding any no follow links. The only time you might want to is if you're linking to third party external sites you may want to, but I don't think you need to really. And he says, can't wait for the shirts. That's great. Helen says she had problems with iPage. There you go. Okay. You're right, WordPress is trademarked. Let me just look that up. I know that WordPress is trademarked because I've been in trouble before. <laughs> um, I registered a domain name with the word WordPress in it and I don't like that. Okay, so it looks like I'm just looking at the WordPress trademark usage. It looks like if I get permission, I should be fine. Um, so that would mean I'd have to sell the t-shirts at cost. It has to be non-commercial. Um, so yeah, I'll have to think about it. Firma says, doesn't WordPress auto no follow links? No. I don't think so. Don't 
David says there is no infringement in the context that you use it on a t-shirt. Uh, maybe. I'm just going to contact the um, I'm going to contact the WordPress Foundation and see what they say. Okay, well let's wrap up the stream. And I'll look into t-shirts, I'll let you know next week. So yeah, I will be here again next week, same time, same place, Wednesday, eight o'clock UK time. Larry says, you can, can you, I think you can use WP, you can use WP, which is why I'm WP Eagle and not WordPress Eagle. <laughs> Scott says, why does any, everyone go on about having no follow links? It's basically because you wanna keep your Google juice. Is that what you'd call it? So if you imagine, it used to be called PageRank, I don't even use PageRank anymore, but if you can imagine that there's like a, a juice that flows across the internet and it, it flows across links between websites and, and this juice is kind of what affects how well you rank on the search engines. So when you've got sites that are linking to you, You've got all this lovely search engine Google juice flowing into your site and it's filling up and, um, and that's great, you're gonna rank well. Now when you link out to other sites, that juice is then passed across those links and it leaves your site, I don't know if leave is the right word, but it kind of flows out your site to the other sites and you know, share, it gets shared around. The reason why people add no follow links is because they don't wanna lose any of that juice. If you add a no follow link, then in theory that's like a, a tap and it's turned it off and you get to keep some of the juice. I hope that clarifies it. So I'm gonna go. If you're in England, enjoy the football tomorrow. Fingers crossed we can we can win another game. That would be great. Do check out my new video. Do leave a comment, let me know what you think. Uh, do appreciate it. Do check out You Can Do. Um, let me know if you don't get that sign up email or whatever confirmation email and I'll look into it. Thank you all very much for joining me tonight on the stream. I've really enjoyed it. Uh, if you enjoyed it, do click the like button. That does help me out as I've said. And yeah. Until next time, good luck with your projects, good luck with your WordPress, and I'll see you around. Now I need to turn around to turn the stream off. I'll do it slowly so it looks professional. <laughs> all right, all. see you later.